Okay, today we're going to be working under the bottom side of the Model A engine. I'm going to try to scrub it down a little bit from the uh, sitting for 60 years and uh, remove any rust that I see and just scrape it clean. So, not going to be uh, too much talking, just time lapse. Okay, I think I'm going to drop the oil pump out and uh, just check it, its condition. It was pumping oil and uh, I think it should be fine. Okay, about done with the scrubbing on the bottom part here, getting the surface rust off using a scouring pad and uh, some little sandpaper on the aggressive stuff. Have a problem back here on the cams. The uh, rear cylinder intake has a few bad spots on it, but this last lobe is pretty rough. So I sanded it down, then I buffed it down with the uh, scouring pad, but we'll, have, we'll just have to see how long the uh, camshaft, that lobe will put up. I think I'm about done scrubbing the surface rust off everything. I just don't want the little rust grit to get into the pan, into the oil, and I'll, I'll have to change the oil several times once I get it running to uh, flush everything out. So I think the next step is put the pan back on and then up front, use the pan to support the engine. Then up front here, take the front motor mount off and access the timing gear. That, that's what I'm getting at right now is trying to get this timing gear. There's just huge chunks out of the teeth and it's just rotten away. So then I can get to this front rope seal also and put a new one in since that one's 60 years old and brittle. But the other thing I have to do is disconnect the uh, this rear motor mounts. I think I'm going to try to get some new uh, rubber pads back here too. But you, you disconnect these so that the engine can move a little bit when you're... Uh, so putting the jack under it to take the front motor mount off to get to that timing gear. So that's the plan. Painted the uh, oil pan on the outside and uh, left it outside in the sun to cook. And now I'm 
thinking I'm about ready to put the oil pan back on because I need it to support the engine to take the front motor mount off. So uh, I also during the uh, process pulled the oil pump off just to take a look at it and whether it needs any additional cleaning or not. Let's just see what she looks like. Bad. It's got some surface rust on it too. I know. I think I'll clean it up. I don't know. How I'll take it apart though. I think you know it was working when I crank, hand cranked it over. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I'll take it apart though. I think I'll just clean it up. Um, got to take this little rope gasket out of here that's been there 60 years, so I got to chisel it out and uh, put the splash pan, the dipper pan, back in, get it set in the oil pan again, put my new rope, rope seal on, and the cork gasket on the back, and uh, little daubs of RTV in certain spots. There's also where this front plate mounts onto the engine. There's a separation here and here. And actually uh, on this side, there's the side access cover and then the front cover. So there's a couple little cracks here and uh, whether they line up perfectly with the engine block. And uh, when I go to put the put the um, put it back together after changing the timing gear on the camshaft, so let me get to work and uh, try to clean these up a little bit, and then we'll see about putting the oil pan back on. Okay, changed my mind. I'm gonna pull the oil pump apart just to uh, clean it up and make sure that it has, uh, there's not rusty or grit in there. It, it was working. And uh, so I don't expect to have to replace anything in here. Just four little bolts on the bottom here, seven sixteenths bolts. Hmm. That washer fell apart, which wouldn't be good in the oil pan. So maybe it's a good thing I'm taking it apart. Just crumbled into three or four pieces. So bottom plate gears that's how the fluid pumps between the gears and smooth got some little burrs on it some gears seem to be fine not missing any teeth so I think I'll leave it alone. All right, I'm gonna put it back together and uh, put it back in. Well, I kind of spoke too soon when I pulled the screen out. You see the uh, the mess on that screen? So 
So it's probably a good thing I'm cleaning it up. That is some nasty. Almost looks like pieces of wood. Yep, I have to clean it out. little bit more to it than I thought. I have to clean it out. Well, after cleaning the oil pump for a while, um, you can kind of see what came out of it. It's uh, pretty nasty, and there's actually even more grit besides what I already beat out of it. So, you know, and it's, it's welded together, so you can't really take this cover off and get in there. So the best I could do is pour liquid in there, paint thinner, and uh, shake it about, try to get what was caught in there because once you put the screen in that's going to be on the clean side of the oil so that that's going to be sucking it right into the oil pump so that's why I'm trying to get it as clean as I can but obviously it wasn't very clean um, I think I'll do some more uh, paint thinner and then uh, start putting it back together Okay, I'm going to show you how to access the uh, oil pump shaft and the upper shaft to the distributor and this little spring that you have to remove in the valve area. So I've already loosened the lock nut on the distributor to pull it off. And you press down and watch your face to remove the spring and then this little cap holds the shafts together so you would take this little cap off and now mine was stuck in very hard and uh, I had to pry it up and I pried up against it carefully and finally this came out and it's it's in a into the cam gear so you have to sort of turn it as it's coming out but then it was like very difficult to get it out of the chamber there so i had already taken this out and uh cleaned it up so i just wanted to show how it and now how it goes back together all right now let's see if we can get it back together so this drops down and it should engage into the camshaft gear. I think it's I think it's in the gear now. Yeah, it seems to be locked into the gear. And This little guy has to go down just right. I don't know if you can see it. There's a, uh, a slot in the collar right there, and it's lined up with this, this pin right here. So you have to get them lined up. 
then it just kind of sits down in there. And then your connector goes right there. And then the spring goes on. And this is a difficult spring. You can get better at it though. There's a little groove that it sits in. Once you get it in the right spot, you can you can tell it's countersunk right there. And once you get it in that, you should be able to drop your distributor down in there. Boom, just like that. Whoa, didn't know it was gonna be that easy. So, and then you uh, tighten your distributor back down. And then once the oil pan's on, you, you would loosen this and let the, the uh, oil pump sit on the spring in the bottom of the pan so it can just flow and not be so rigid. But that's how you get that together. All right, thought you'd wanna see that because it's a little bit difficult. All right, everybody, take care.